So a lot of you guys probably edit your very own Fortnite highlights and you're probably lacking that one little step that'll take your content from mid to insane. Well, lucky for you, I'm going to be going over in this video how you can actually add the best transitions inside of Adobe After Effects. I'm going to be going over how you can actually add these different transitions, how to make them, how to apply them. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot. And with all that out the way, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So we're inside of After Effects. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a new composition. I'm going to be naming it Transitions guide or something like that and then we just gotta quickly change the settings of the project to make it you know the right settings for any Fortnite montage which is 1920 by 1080 60 fps i left the duration at whatever first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save the project by pressing ctrl s and i'm gonna name it whatever i'm gonna call it transitions guide or something like that just so we can actually save it to our computer so we don't lose any progress the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna find two random clips because these are the two clips that i'm gonna be showing you as an example how to transition between the two so i'm just gonna drag them in just like this and all we really need is a nice little portion just like like this where they meet in the middle and we kind of have that transitionary part right here so we can see this is that separation point so typically what i do in my own montages is i'll find this point and i'll add a marker to it just to make it a lot more uh, easier to see if that makes sense and uh yeah this is pretty much what we're actually going to be doing with this portion itself so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the middle point right here and we're just going to add an adjustment layer if you guys don't know how to do that press Control alt y and it will just add an adjustment layer right there for example if you have an adjustment layer that you know not spawns but creates right here you can just drag it to the very top layer that way it's above everything that's what you want you need it above everything and then from there what i'll do is i'll kind of trim it down just a bit by pressing Control shift d on the layer just on either side kind of thing and yeah that should be way more than enough to be honest so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to effects and presets and I'm actually going to be looking up Blurmo curves. It's a Sapphire plugin. If you guys don't have the Sapphire plugins, make sure to go download them. You can find a tutorial on YouTube on how to get them for free. But the first type of transition I'm going to be showing you is zoom transitions. All we got to do for this is go one frame. So literally go one right before the separation point. So we're going to keyframe this at 0.7 right on the frame right before the separation point. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 frames back. Keyframe this at one which is the default value we can see it'll zoom in right here and then on that transition point we did 0.7 so if you imagine the opposite of 0.7 is 1.4 so we're going to do uh, 1.4, if that makes sense. And I'm going to do wrap X and wrap Y, just so it's reflect like this. Boom. You can see this is the zoomed out part. And we'll do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 frames. Changes to 1. We can see that kind of looks like a zoom in but it's really linear and it looks terrible so we're gonna fix this by actually selecting these keyframes left clicking and selecting pressing f9 on our keyboard going to the graph right here we can see the graphs like this and then literally it's as simple as clicking on this point dragging this in dragging this one down clicking on this point dragging this down and dragging this in and all that does is it literally corrects the graph and it makes it look so much cleaner and that's pretty much that and if we want to reverse it we want to make a zoom out we'll literally have this one on the keyframe before and then we can have this keyframe right here select all the frames and then from there we literally just fix it like that it's that simple just like that zoom out perfect that's that's all you really need to do and uh yeah that is pretty much how you do a zoom transition so we're actually going to get rid of the z distance stuff right here just going to fix it to its default value now what i'm going to be doing now what i'm going to be doing is show you guys how you can actually do a movement transition so this will either be uh left right kind of thing up down if that makes sense so the first one i'm going to be showing you is just left to right it's the same process for everything else so we're going to keyframe our shift x at 500 on the separation we're going to go back and the opposite of this one's going to be negative 500 then we're going to go 25 frames back just to keyframe it back at the default value so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 should be good and then we'll the default value for this is zero it's not one uh we can see this is actually swiping to the left and we'll do the same thing we'll do 25 so this one's on 35 so we'll add 25 and that is actually gonna be right here and we'll change this back to uh zero right here i don't know why that's not letting me edit it so it swipes left same thing it's really really linear so we just got to fix the graph press f9 go into our graph here literally same thing just fix the graph for it 
That one's a bit harsh, so if we want it to be a bit less harsh, you can always just manually adjust the graph to be not as like snappy, if that makes sense. And that's pretty much how you do a movement one. Uh, all you gotta do for that is just, if you want it the other way, you swap the keyframes around, fix the graph. Up, down is the same thing with Shift Y instead of Shift X. Uh, just so you guys are aware of that, I'm gonna unkeyframe that. And then for rotation, the last one I'm gonna be showing you guys, keyframe your rotation at the middle to 90. Go to the frame before, go negative 90, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And keyframe this at zero. Same thing, go. 25 keyframes, keyframe this at zero. And we can see that rotation is looking good. I'm actually going to um, mute this just because it's really annoying. We're gonna press F9 here, go into the graph, and we're just going to edit this just like that. And that should honestly be good. Yeah, that's how I do my rotation transitions. A lot of people have asked me how I actually do my rotation transitions, and that's how you do it. Uh, if you want it to rotate the other way, for example, you could literally just swap around the keyframes like this and fix the graph is the only part that you have to really edit and that is how you rotate the other direction it's that simple guys um but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this like mini transition tutorial i have kind of touched up on it but i haven't really gone into depth about how i do my own i do more of like a generalized tutorial this is more of how i do my own um sort of transitions if that makes sense but uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to have free transition presets in the description for you guys to check out. So make sure to do that. All you got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and it'll give you access to the Google Drive. And also, I have a tutorial playlist where I literally have all of my tutorials. So go check that out. That'll be linked in the description as well. Uh, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy, go check out another tutorial. See if you can expand your knowledge even more. But yeah, I covered everything. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.